PowerPoint includes some really great features that can help you create dynamic and engaging presentations more easily. Other than your actual content, one of the hardest parts of creating a good presentation is just in the basic appearance. An easy way to improve the appearance of your PowerPoint is to choose a theme. We're going to do that from the design tab and we have several themes to choose from or we can search online for more themes. I'm just going to grab this one here. This is the WISP theme and once you have your theme you can customize the color scheme and the default fonts easily to quickly make changes to the overall look. So you can pull your colors from here. You can change the fonts or some of the themes are known as super themes and they have a couple of variants already ready to go. So I'm just going to pick this one. And all of the elements that are in your presentation or that you add to your presentation from here on out, whether we're talking about text, tables, smart art graphics, and so on, they're going to update to match the theme and the colors that you chose. If we want to add new content, we're basically talking about the insert tab here and you've gone through already a lot of the different options uh, in your actual assignments. Um, for example, if you want to add a picture, instead of using a clip art option or saving a file to your computer and then trying to upload it, uh, you can go to online pictures and easily pull content out of a, a Bing image search so that if you are looking for something in particular you can just type your keyword and off you go. If you want to add a chart to your presentation there is a button here on the insert tab. There's also buttons available right within your placeholder to add a chart. Once you select one of these it's going to give you some chart types to choose from. And so you pick your chart type and it's going to put that right into your chart but it's also going to give you a little mini Excel spreadsheet here so that you can type in the specific values you're looking for and if this is not enough for you there's a button here up at the top that allows you to edit in the full version of Excel. This method ensures that the layout of your data is correct for the chart type that you've chosen. If you already have a chart ready to go in Excel, you can simply copy and paste the chart into your PowerPoint slide. So if I add in a new slide here and I want to grab, let's say we want to grab this chart here. So I'm going to copy it and I'll paste right into my PowerPoint. If I have extra placeholders here that I don't need, I'm just going to select those and delete them out. Just clean things up on the editing side. And you'll notice that the formatting of this chart matches my theme now. It didn't keep the formatting that I had in Excel. It updated. You'll also notice that all of my chart tools that I have available in Excel are also available here. So I can treat this chart just like a chart in Excel and everything will work the same way. Just as in other Office applications, PowerPoint has features that make working with others on a single presentation easier. One way to do this is by using the comment feature. So if I go up to the review tab and I turn on show comments, it's going to pull that comment feature up on the right hand side here. So I might want to add in a comment about this chart and say, you know, this looks great. Okay, so now I'm going to post that comment and someone else could come in here with a reply and now these comments are threaded just like a discussion board so you can see the conversation back and forth. Just makes it a little bit easier for you to communicate with each other. You can also save your presentations to a OneDrive account that you can then uh, set up for yourself, but you can share those with anybody uh, and that allows for multiple users to work simultaneously, which makes it a lot easier when you're trying to work in a group, for example. Presenter View has some great features for those who are going to be presenting their PowerPoint to an audience. So when you're in Presenter View, it shows the audience the slides just like normal, but you as the presenter can access tools to help you through your talk. Now I have two monitors. If you're just on one monitor, you can use the Alt 
plus F5 keys to enter into presenter view. So when you switch to presenter view, you can see the current slide as well as the next slide that's coming and your notes. Notice that you can increase or decrease the size of your notes so they're easier to read as you're going through your presentation. You can use the pointer options here uh, to use a laser pointer that'll help you highlight information on your slide. You can also draw on your slide with the pen feature. The see all slides option switches into a slide sorter style and I can jump over to any slide that I want so I can seamlessly choose what slide's going to come next just by clicking it in that view and the audience will never know that we have even changed the original PowerPoint and gone out of order. We also have the option to zoom in to a portion of our slide so that we can emphasize a certain area or if the font is not quite big enough we can zoom in and that'll help us out as well. So lots of really neat features in PowerPoint. Of course there are always more but hopefully that you will find these helpful as you're working on your own presentations.